Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD Broadcast Studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Cody Johnson, reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Wednesday, June 5th. Tonight we report on the Moses Lake Police version of a daycare director charged with assault and how a Royal City farmer faces fines for dust. We also look at the increased cost to grant PUD to raise salmon to keep a federal license and how the state is going to spend $130 million on a new ferry terminal. In sports we have results from the WIAA Scholastic Cup and Major League Baseball's latest investigation of banned substances that could reach the Mariners. Our spotlight story tonight is about how the Ephrata School District is helping to feed kids during the summer. And we've got the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, a Moses Lake police report tells a different story about what happened between a Moses Lake daycare director and her three children and what Kelly Lewis claims. Kelly Lewis, a 45-year-old Moses Lake woman and director of the Child Children of Grace Daycare and Preschool, and her husband Kurt Lewis, a 46-year-old Moses Lake man, are each facing a charge of assault in the fourth degree in Grant County District Court. Moses Lake Police reported the incident began after a group of the Lewis children allegedly start, started a fire. Police responded after someone reported Kelly Lewis reportedly hit her sons, grabbed them by the neck, and one of them was bleeding. When officers arrived, Kelly Lewis denied hitting the children, but a different woman allegedly told officers Kelly Lewis became upset and hit two children multiple times. Four children told police they were hurt by the couple. Kelly Lewis initially denied striking any of the children, reportedly saying later she hit a child once. For more on this story, you can visit us online at ifiber1.com slash news. A Royal City Farm was fined by the Washington Department of Ecology between January and March of 2013. The Washington Department of Ecology issued $622,000 in penalties of $1,000 or more to 26 businesses or individuals. Among them was B&G Farms of Royal City, which was fined $20,000 for violating Washington's water quality laws by reportedly not preventing extreme erosion on farm, farmland known as Smyrna Bench. According to ecology officials, soil from the land covered fish habitat and reportedly polluted Lower Crab Creek with mud. B&G farm owner Mike Brown said in January he planned to appeal the fine. Others on the list received penalties of as much as $405,000 for infractions, including oil leakage into waterways, non-compliance with underground storage tanks, and not completing mandatory testing on equipment. Grant PUD may pay more to raise and track salmon at its hatchery near Priest Rapids Dam. The utility is planning to pay the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife $1.1 million to raise and track Chinook salmon at the Priest Rapids hatchery. The commissioners are voting on two contract extensions with the department, which will be a $100,000 increase from last year. The utility started paying the state to run the hatcheries in 1963 as a way to increase salmon populations in the river. The contract decreases the risk to the utility if something was to go wrong with the fish at the hatchery. The majority of the increase is going to, monit going to monitoring the amount of returning salmon. The agreement to raise salmon is included in the utility's federal license to run the dam. 
Each of the people you see here have warrants for their arrest and are wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages with the latest from the iFiber One Weather Center. And we've got sports and more news coming up. 